Dr. Kam is seated in the studios. We have to do some minutes of discussion before he goes out. Lord Akwaba. Yeah, no, DJ Ford. Um, we are looking at um, religion in general, how he came, yeah. why he came, yeah. the purpose. Yeah. Is it seven it? What has happened? But we at S Live Africa decided to put it this way. Can religion redeem it damaging image in Africa? That is what we are asking. Okay. Uh, but before you go on, let me say a big thank to uh, Brother Sly, who came here to help us to Sly have uh, a smooth video streaming live on Facebook. Thank you very much. You can go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tuesday, yeah, so Tuesday, Tuesday um, in the morning, we'll do it strictly English for our listeners. Then on okay. Thursday, we do tree for them. Please, may I be forgiven? Mm. Because on Tuesdays, I do have a lot of activities to do. And then um, it's beginning to conflict a little with my timing. May I be forgiven? Yeah, you're forgiven, but we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> definitely, we should be working on that. And I know we, we will definitely do that. But anyways... Religion, mm -hmm. religion. As I always say, I think yes, then that was yesterday week, which is uh, mm -hmm. the previous week. I mm -hmm. think we spoke about this this very same day, mm -hmm. previous week. The point is, how can re religion redeem their misplaced reputation? Mm -hmm. It's a religion came with a strategy, and that strategy is not being taken off their hands. I like to spell it out right now and today. Mm. Religion thought of addressing the material issues of people before bringing in their spiritual aspects. Aspect. So when they get to a community, the people are actually lacking portable water. They bring it over there. Once they bring it to you, they prove to you that they are worthy of what? Reliance. Mm -hmm. And once they do that, indirectly, you are dependent upon them to a degree because you need you need them for them to continually, continually and what, continuously what, supply with water. Mm. In that degree, they come in. We are so so and so and so, and then they baptize you. I remember that uh, was it last year when there was this hurricane, mm. Hurricane Katrina or so, somewhere around, um, I think somewhere Asia or so. Mm. And what happened? We only saw these Christians taking food to them at the same time baptizing them. Mm. Yes, they said they are in a state of distress, and now they give you food. And now once you get that kind of VIP treatment in the midst of your fellow words people people who are also in the in a very distressed state <laughs> when they come in that we are going to give you a, a vip ticket by so do we need to actually what be baptized by us won't you do it because you know that being a what being a christian will actually guarantee you food always mm -hmm. so that that has been a strategy of what of most religions wherever religion goes they try to actually solve the material problems of the people and afterwards present their objectives to them that it, it then if i understand you it, it most like can be compared to politics politicians yes religion the principles upon which religion operates is the same principle upon which what politics operates mm. yes politics is actually mobilizing people for a particular cause religion also the same thing so 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 sublimely or subtly they are all operating on the same principle just that on the surface they appear to be they appear to be, with different, be different brands yes and with different objectives but their purpose or underlying principles upon which they operate is actually all the same. Hmm. Hmm. So, so then, did, but in any case, they were doing good. We were yes. going to solve people's uh, uh, social problems. Yeah. But it was a good that they were doing. But what has led to this distrust, suspicion, non-reliance that is growing in Africa? We know in the West, it, it is West. But in Africa, where we thought religion has a great hold of the people but now you go to social media everywhere and the black the average Ghanaian, the average african is questioning religion one way or the other thank you we have one thing one thing i call one thing i call um destructive mechanism mm. or something we call um leverage leverage mechanism mm -hmm. and also one thing we use to actually what be what be that victimized victimization technology or vit mm -hmm. vi uh, victimization what strategy or victimhood this is how it is done 
You see, aside whatever uh, religion was doing, I wouldn't actually concentrate on only Christianity. Aside whatever religion was up to, they had a strategy in line. Well, how did they do it? I always say this, the God of the old religion becomes the demon or the devil of the succeeding religion. Listen to me very well. This is deep. The God of the old religion becomes mm-hmm. the, what? the demon of the succeeding religion. religion okay. This happens through two instances. Mm. Now we are in a state of distress. And now another person comes in with his or her God and now provides that for us. Mm-hmm. Now even we, the people who are actually adherents of, the, of such a God or religion, will mm-hmm. now begin to what, lose faith. So all these problems, my God couldn't do that, but this God has been able to do it. Mm-hmm. So automatically, you are powerless. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two, now the people who are actually bringing in that new system mm-hmm. also have a way of actually making it work for them by getting hold of the minds of the people and their thinking. And how do they do it? This is how it is done. Now they begin to actually what? Demonize, bastardize, and destroy or defame the, the old the, the God of the old religion mm-hmm. because already the, within the minds of the people they, be, they are beginning to doubt the worth of the what? Of the old God of that religion. Mm-hmm. So first they come in with their good and that good guarantees them a ticket to get into the minds of the people. Get them thinking. What has happened? Why can't what I was already b- having faith in performing sacrifices for Able, well, able to what to provide me with this, but this person is now g- giving me what a dress to wear, giving me this to, uh, to do that, giving me a milk to drink, giving me something that I wasn't what I wasn't having access to b- a p- before. Mm-hmm. So now, once the questioning comes in, then the, you can now write on the questioning mm-hmm. to actually dominate the mind of the person and bring in your own what aspect of your own, your own thoughts to actually what replace the thought of the, of the person. Mm-hmm. So by so doing, now religion now have have to come in by using this strategy. I'm talking about all religions, not only Christianity. By using this strategy, and how do they do it? This is how they come in. Mm-hmm. Listen how it is done. And they come in trying to demonize your 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 your, your, your previous people. Mm-hmm. Now, when they try to actually translate your new system or their new system into your old system, they begin to take characters from your old existing system and bring it or, or transport them or export them into what into their incoming what system. Mm-hmm. Looking at qualities of your old system, which actually fit into certain qualities of the of, of, or certain certain qualities of the pers- uh, personifications of what of their new incoming religion, and by so doing, integrate that into what into the new system. Mm. You get it. Something yeah, like can o- you can you give us some practical examples? Yes, yeah, something like o- using, using some. mm-hmm. was actually the name of the supreme god in our old African system of of the Akans mm-hmm. or the Akan religion or Akanism. Mm-hmm. Once they came into the new system, they brought it. They they replaced that name as well as the name of the supreme god within the, the new system. And Bonsam, which was always which within our Akan folk folklore was actually what a, a, a personification or a symbolism for what for negativity, evil thoughts, cunningness, evil deeds. Distraction, one who perceives evil, mm. was now transported into the new system as what, as the Satan or devil. And I I hosted one man here, and he was like, Bonsam or Sasra Bonsam, was actually in the old account system, wasn't negative necessarily, but for example, you don't go to the riverside on Saturday. You go there, you see some spirit. There's a difference between bonsam and sasa bonsam. Oh, okay. In the Akan system, when we say sasa, sasa means ghost. Okay. Or a hunting, or a hunting spirit. Okay. So sasa bonsam. Okay, 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 okay. And okay. we are bonsam. Mm. Bonsam is actually what one who actually performs feats which are beyond the imagination of other people. Now, but but we 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 are the people who are tired and they are not able to do it. That's an Akan Akan way of actually trying to say that. Expressing okay the owlness of. Beyond the, the ordinary, ordinary, okay, and also within our account folklore, which is the Asan, uh, Anasi stories, mm-hmm. we also had Bonsam symbolizing or certain kind of negativities, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and as a symbolizing or kindness, God, wisdom, knowledge. Mm. Mm. Do you get it? Yep, uh, 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 for the symbolizing or gladness, one who actually eats so much, mm-hmm. <laughs> you see. So, this greediness, is, you see, this is how it was all about. So, mm. now they take the old system, characters within the old system. And export it into the new system, so that that the new system can now harmonize with what with what is already within the minds of what of the people of the people, mm. and now now what now bringing what the, the new system into place. So now the god of the old system, indirectly will now become what the demon, mm. even with the with the the Ajo people or even the Yorubas. Mm-hmm. They have one deity they call Oru, mm-hmm. Oru, which is like our own Bonsam system over here, mm-hmm. but it was a deity. Okay. When they when they when they try to actually what 
merged the new system, which is the incoming religion, with the what, with the old system. They made Oru what to what to, to be Satan. Now demonizing what was not what demonized mm. in the old system. Okay, so he's just kind of recycling of things. The same way when you take when the, when the word demon mm-hmm. comes from the word dime, okay, D A G M, or diamond, okay, which simply means what? A spirit, a saint, a guardian angel, a genie. Wow. But now when the new incoming system of what Christianity came in, now these genies or whatever which was of the old pre-existing pagan religions now became what? Symbol is symbols of what? Of destruction. Evil and evil. All that. Just like just like the word gay. The word gay used to mean happiness. Thank you. Today, if you start somewhere straight, oh I'm gay today. You see how people look at you. <laughs> you see how it is? Mm. So this is how religion actually came into the system. By merging the old existing system into what? Into the new system. Into the new uh, into the new system, and that which is actually held sacrosanct now being demonized in the new system, to mm. create way for people to now have faith in the new system, other than what the old system, that's exporting the minds of the people, their consciousness of the people into the new system, mm. though maintaining their belief system or their belief mindset. Okay. Now, now the, the question is today since we don't have much time, the question is, given the background that you're giving us, are we therefore going to see? something like a new form of religion rising up in africa thank you do you know why these pastors of today are misbehaving the way they are misbehaving no thank you it started from somewhere mm. that we haven't yet taken time to actually what research about or even go through mm. you know one thing we see christians over here i'm going to this one this is the third aspect of the same system of actually what converting mm. or bringing the, the new system to replace the old system okay here's the case you know you're not set the system in every experiment in science, we have what? We have the experiment and we have the control, right? Mm, yeah. Thank you. This is how it is done. So we now have one person from the old system mm? Mm. come into the new system, represent the new system, and at the same time, being a figure of recognition within the new system will now bastardize and demonize the old system. One system, what's, what happened in Ghana that we are seeing today with Pentecostalism, where whatever we are seeing today started with one man called Kojo Opon. Mm. Yes, he was a fetish priest. During the 1800s, mm. yes, in Ghana here, he was the first, he was the first non-orthodox what, convert. Wow. Yes, Kujopong. What did he do? This first priest was an Ashanti man, moved down to um, the the the, the Ghana areas. From there to Cote d'Ivoire, he later returned, and when he returned, he was he was actually convicted in Cote d'Ivoire for for fraud. Mm. Yes, after his return, he now said he has now what he has now changed. He has seen God. He has seen God now changed but his changing was what gave birth to the aleduna the this kind of some sort of churches mm-hmm. aleduna in cancer um uh, what's the name this kind of um all this all this kind of like like churches yeah that was how he started it so aleduna akabuha that's muzamadisco christo mm-hmm. church mm-hmm. akabuha aleduna uh jehu eliyahu all these people were all people who were actually were all of the same line mm. what did they do when he came into the system he was already using the old system but in a new way mm-hmm. his form of divination was using a stone or create a bow fit of a fish you or become one someone or share born as well when you test him you're better so i didn't i catch it so up so this time in in a church in a church now a person or person or person in this media or say come on in afan so they'll be playing the drums as african african were playing drums no peja peja no say na ukon kan san sorry any muzama no ma sorry any all those kind of sum sum sorry no more na pepe the same way he was doing or you soon have buying you be so it was the same old system on the yanko pondi bed but this man became very popular see the 1800s 1880s this man was able to pull about 200,000 people as his personal followers during that time so he first associated himself with the Methodist Church along the line. Methodists were feeling insecure because a system of doing, you know, and you know, and the people were beginning to trust him and follow him more than what than the church. The Orthodox churches. Although not a Methodist, but obtaining recognition, and he, he was becoming of more of dominance than what the people or the, mm. the people have actually been schooled and the priests of the church. And what happened? They also made a monkey candidate. Almost, almost did in the ceremony of him. Not to call join the Presbyterian Church. So our own Catholic, this Pentecostal system, I win. Baby, yes, as if you know, and one year win. So he was, he actually came in demonizing what the other system, which he himself indirectly was practicing, which some of us know said one guy or the Christian can never be a better castle. Somebody said that um, those days when you go out, you see a lot of uh, shrines 
then all of a sudden the the shriners start putting on coats and put uh, bible in their pocket and that is how it is it, it, it started so whatever we are seeing today here, you know, Sunday, Saturday, now the point is how do we go in to actually dominate the minds of the people hmm. so let's have one person who will come in Mitio, Tiazemo. let's have one person who will come in oh now me your court now me come and me come and me I'm not We need three days. Now, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to where there's a radio station in Ghana that at least every day in a week you hear somebody being a girl, or a, a young guy, saying that he was awkward, he went to, under the sea. Me, pa, that, show, that, that's it. that radio station, you know, mm-hmm. me, 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 Mr. Tisha, those are about two years ago. Yeah, maybe. One guy came to me, or friend, or friend, so about me, and afterwards, I'm like, ah, I'm a professor, I'm a baby, I'm a man, you're my name ba. He has an evil intention. I forgot to catch him. So I saw him. I'm not even down for be ba. I mean, so I saw all the down for bad. I'm not even mad. I'm not down for not be jano. Then, then, then. I feel also. I'm pressing my phone now. Into on 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 trying to take a picture. Fan, fan, send me now. I was like, what is happening over here? A guy. A guy. I mean, some man, I'm happy. I feel me some man. I call ready. I'm going to be three months. Oh, I know I'm so proud. Oh, person, what you are doing? I'm not recording. No, you're not sending me anything. I don't want to hear no so. So most of those issues over there, most of them. Are not genuine issues. I, I know, I know. They create, okay. they, they, produ- they produce, they create an instance, create it. They create an instance for you to just fall in. Ni I didn't hear the voice. I didn't. I'm a bad, I'm a tool. But I've been you, before. you are a spiritual scientist. Last two weeks, yeah. Mm-hmm. Obi ba me hano. Me mm-hmm. bought TV station, I didn't. Oh, who me program or YouTube? So I agree and say me yes. I have for now, but now, budget for for ten million, but budget hundred million for nobody. I could better have one. The case of money, I mean, case of main person make cash story. No, I'm not in it. But the case of money, I'm going to the three things. Now, by a journalist. Or a, or, a, or, a, or a radio presenter, mm-hmm. a TV presenter, or oh, one of the a comfort TV stations in Ghana. Mm. Yes, or by all my songs, I me. I say, uh, uh, um, um, uh, do more English for us because, as I said, thank today you. is Good Morning Africa. Thank you. He, 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 work, he works with one of the uh, local fetish priests, mm. one of the one of these TV stations. Ah, Dino Busma could be on the ISM will be at two TV stations. So, my mm. patrol, when this guy came. He had three objectives in mind. First objective, to do what? He's a journalist and he has been working with such people, so um, he would like to. Um, uh, uh, he, he works with one a TV station, which is also another TV station. That's Next TV. Mm-hmm. So he has been taking programs to that channel, but he works with so and so channel. I mean, so okay, bruh. So this guy came around after coming around after Obeka said that channel as soon as I'm on Oshie, I saw the ban and on a public ten. He actually actually came around three, mm. which I had somewhere to go. That was Sunday, last week Sunday. He came. He said that he has been sent out to go and look for um, programs, go out and market for programs for his station. So after in the, within a conversation, and I told him I would like to be part of the station. Now this guy was telling me that he doesn't even know the charges of what of the programs on his channel. I said, Ah, a marketer, how do you do you not know the charges? Of the station or the station or for their programs but you're here saying that you went out to market looking for people for your channel that's point number one point number two he is now in debt and his wife or girlfriend he has been living with for six years from kumasi down here the ladies are trying to send out they are living with eight other people in the same room and what whatever he says the lady does not respect looking at the man who has nothing to do or who has no no money how he's being maltreated whatever so he wants to live there should he even get money right right now he wants to live there he's in debt and he's dying whatever 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 so and I asked him, what does the wife, what job does the wife do? He himself started it. Um, my my the, the girlfriend is into certain job, and I I know whatever is about the job, but it's very risky. So I didn't say anything. Very risky. But if you want, I can tell you. I didn't say I didn't say anything. He was still talking. If you want, I can tell you it's something which is very it's, it's more of a, or, or, or less like a security issue, which which can actually bring you some court cases and police uh, police issues. He was speaking, and then he himself now came out. It's about um, fake money. It's about fake money. That's what the wife does. So he has some kids. He gives them the money. Uh, she gives them the money. They go to the, the town, to the market to buy, and then they exchange the money and bring it to her. That's what she has been doing for the past six years. But he knows everything concerning the job, so he can actually do it. And I just told myself, this guy is just trying to bring an issue over here. A journalist sitting before you, looking for what? A case to actually send to his channel. Mm-hmm. That's one. One thing you need to be aware of. So Point number two. He thinks you're like that. This kind of 
Because I know the channel that he operates or what the station that he, that's what the, what the boss of the channel what does. This kind of do- money doubling, using that fake money to actually do people. So thinking I was a part of it, and he knowing that he works with such people, so he was now coming to me to what? To now bring that, that, that proposal towards me that like maybe I deal with fake money, so if you are into that, that we do. Then we can provide you with that money, then you can give me some money. That was why he, so he came with three objectives. Either to have you for my channel, either to actually have a news. If you don't, if you're not part of we, the fake spiritual people, then we can have a news to tarnish your image. And three, for business. Mm. So I was just looking at the guy. Then afterwards, I just, I wasn't looking at his face again. I, I just started blasting him indirectly, giving all stories that has actually happened to me before. A man came here like this. A man came here like this. this, this, this. I, 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 I felt like he now, he now felt un, uh, what, uncomfortable, knowing that I know what he, had, what, I know what he came there to do. But indirectly, I'm not, I don't want to tell him that this is what he came here to. I was just putting it into stories. Mm-hmm. Hey, and yeah. And me by saying consultation, I mean so then consultation, this is the amount you need to pay. Oh, and then one can let me say, how can you come to me? Call me on phone that you're coming from you're coming to me for consultation. I wouldn't tell you the amount you need to pay. Then he'll go and come and I said, Go, come. Maybe on Monday or Tuesday, but Mondays I don't do consultation. So on Tuesdays. Now, come. Yeah. But me, my biggest question is those stories. I used to be a producer on the right one radio station, I cannot mention the name. And when the day we don't get so called true story some one story is cooked where somebody will come and sit down and tell how he became an occult and i know uh, those stuff does it happen and then the and, point and, is and, and when they are under the sea there uh when they mention the name of jesus my does brother, those things happen sometimes you need to cook up stuff to build a reputation you see what these new churches are doing is what the old churches have been doing for so many years now but we never knew just that these people are now doing it unprofessionally making it so exposed that we get to know the what that the, the technologies within whatever tricks that they are doing it's the same system the old people have been using till till till, till today hmm. yes the old people the old churches have been using the same system till today but these people are just foolish so it's so much foolish enough that they just they, they've just exposed the whole tra- strategy for hmm. everybody to see how hmm. porous the strategy is the old men have been using this strategy since day one. They've been using this strategy. Uh, this is what the church has been using. It's what the, the, the every religion uses this, uses this strategy to actually what we claim we're followers. It's a strategy which is within religion. Create it. You yourself come to solve it. At the end, we will draw a conclusion, and now we we'll come in there to do what to give a testimony on that, or to actually uh, come and show up some kind of force so the supremacy of it. So now we set up a system like you are sick. You came in. I healed you. So indirectly, whoever is watching will think that I'm powerful. Mm. That's how it works. The same way with politics. A political person will now send a person to actually what? To actually instigate a negative activity within the, what, within the nation. And the same politicians, on the other hand, solve. will now come in and then be criticizing the government, the, 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 the existing government or the ruling government, what? On the on 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 the on, on the on the deeds or activities of what of this person who have been who have been set up by we ourselves mm-hmm. to misbehave. And then now they're criticizing you that you don't know. Have you seen how how evil your government is? You can't even do this. You can't even do that. You can't even do this. You can't even do that. I remember in the early uh, late 1999, where it was said that they were importing dead bodies from Togo to create the impression that they are killing women in Ghana and all of that. Yeah, but now with all of this background that you're giving, tied into the question. Are we going to see religion um, taking a nose dive completely, or what we are go- just going to see is a new form of religion rising up in the Africa? Po- the point is, unfortunately, mm-hmm. Africans are rather living from pine to fire, which is, which is, we are living our religion, but we are still hooked onto such mindset and into our new found system of thinking. We are still exporting such mindset into what to that thinking break it down as, as example we the pan-africanists mm-hmm. have been listening a lot even even those in africa are, are actually taken up onto the same formula mm. we preach so much hatred based philosophies teachings mm-hmm. just as a christian who has who, whoever wh- wh- whichever christian has a platform would now be preaching against islam judaism hinduism buddhism the same way the buddhists are, and 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 um and on the lighting Buddhists will also fight uh, because uh, when you go to Myanmar, it's actually between Buddhists and what and what uh, Muslims. Mm. The war is between Buddhists and Muslims. So don't think Buddhism is actually non-violent religion. Mm. When you go to Pakistan, it's between what Hindus and what and Muslims or Islam. Mm. So it's everywhere. So the point is, this is how it is being done. 
whenever any of them have a platform they are trying to actually come out as what a sacrosanct amongst all of them by demonizing the others and look what praising themselves which is what the africans are now currently were doing we are also building up a new set of religion with a with, with a with a hatred base with a, a, a type of um blackmail and what a white male or whitewash me system which is mean that which has been done by, by all the religions now my point is are we looking for the betterment of Africa in a whole, or are we looking for a, a, the betterment of just an incoming system of thoughts against the old one? Because you which, which which later on the also, same thing will be used to bring it down. Will, will be used to bring it down. So what do you think should be the alternative? We should have a neutral. We should have a neutral mindset towards the approach we are moving. Because what you need to realize is, no matter what you do not everybody can leave religion exactly but we can have people within religion who have the mindset we can still propel all of us as a what as a whole together mm. bear in mind the first and foremost religion was what was the religion of the soul mm. second the religion of humanity mm-hmm. then third the religion of what of love okay even before this kind of what institutions came in yes. whatever religion you are following today was actually what an institution mm. started by somebody you can never tell me no religion was started by someone mm. who told you Tell me, tell me about uh, Islam, 1611. Tell me about uh, Christianity in Antioch. Mm-hmm. Tell me about uh, 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 Hinduism. Hinduism came about, about some few years after. Although it, has, it was actually a culture, mm-hmm. but it was actually a, a culture of, of the Hindus or the, the, or the occupants of, of the Hindus, what on the Hindus Valley, mm-hmm. which is today what the Hindus or the, those we call them the, what, the, uh, the, the, the Indians, the Indians, the cultures of the Bharats, which were actually recorded into, what, into the Vedas. The moment it became a scripture. It became what an organized system where each and everyone needs what follow follow became a religion after us so there's no religion on this earth which never had a founder or never had a beginning or a human influence yeah now, now you, you were saying that we should move towards uh, uh, a neutral uh, path or approach what would you say is that would you say because now then the new ages spirituality just like our brother um uh, michelle uh, Majid said two weeks ago or a week ago that he prays that everybody move towards uh, spirituality how do we do or practice this kind of spirituality that everybody's calling for without importing some of these things that you, you, you are talking about thank you let me teach you one thing this spirituality I'm, I'm going to take it from the aspect of Asian Kemet mm-hmm. which most of the African Pan-Africanists are more inclined yeah. towards yeah. the Kemetic system. When the so-called white people, the Europeans or whatever, the Greeks, the, those from the Greece, the Arabian um, mathematicians, scientists, philosophers, all came. Socrates, um, um, Aristotle, Aristotle, and, and all, all those kind of people. When they actually came to what to Egypt, my question is: although they had their own culture. But they still came here to learn yeah and still added up to whatever they had yeah modernize them into their own system and what what did they do they pushed it right my question is if yours alone can sustain you why did they come to learn from you and if what they learn from you can sustain them how are they able to become successful what they learn from you that should tell you that spirit is not bounded by how you what you brand it hmm. spirit is accessible to all so my, it's my, neutral it's neutral I always say spirit, or spirituality or spirit is actually what? Like a like, shawani or like God. A pro- or God prostitute. is like a prostitute. Mm. What matters is she has a price. Give her the price she demands. And whatever you need to also, we offered you. Mm. She, whatever conditions she needs to what? Whatever conditions that, that she demands, so, so far, the such conditions are, are actually what? Met automatically. The sex will actually what happen. I want you to uh, elaborate a bit on where you are saying that the spirits are neutral. So we don't have. You, if I get you right, we don't have African spirits, uh, a white spirit. Thank you. This is what we always Indian air. spirit or the, whatever. Is that what you we, mean? Yes. This is what we always say. Mm. We always say God is everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. I always tell you God is just a title, mm. an attribution, which comes, actually comes, comes from the Anglo-Saxon Germanic word, which means what? The receiver of what? Of sacrifice. Or to one to whom what? Sacrifice is what is due. Due. So it's just a title. So now if God is everywhere, thank you. <laughs> so now if God is everywhere <laughs> thank you mm. now if God is everywhere mm-hmm. as we say based upon the three principal attributes of God omnipotent omnipresent omniscient mm. all knowing all seeing and what all powerful all powerful if God is everywhere then my question is 
what makes it so difficult for you to understand that the God that revealed himself to you will be the same God who, who can reveal himself to somebody 200 miles away? Uh, hold on here. Um, on Sunday, I was listening to an interview I have done. I, 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 I did here on S Love Africa with a pastor, the head pastor of um, um, Hope City. And we we're talking about this phenomenon of God has revealed himself to me. God says, and he says for him, he can't be that arrogant to say God has revealed himself to him. He, he thinks that if God is revealing himself to him, he should be able to reveal himself to his church members as well. He is speaking it within the confinements of Christianity. Yes. I'm speaking of this within the confinement of all humanity. Okay. I mean humans okay. in general. Okay. So the point is, let's look at how, let's, look, let's get to understand the atonement of all religions mm -hmm. and all re spiritual paths. Mm. This is how they are connected. Every name, I said, what, what, is, what is in the name? Name is simply for what? Identification. Exactly. Thank you. So now, what do you identify? You, you identify with what? A form, a shape, a sound, a smell. Eh? Mm -hmm. Or a feel. A feeling, a reason, a quality, a quantity. That's why we give names. So now my point is, now, if any name differs from yours, why should you become mo so much concerned about the name itself? What are you asking yourself? What is the reason behind the name that gave birth to that name? Because the name is actually used to what to symbolize what an idea, a reason. So what is the reason? Hmm. So if the account man calls the what the universal energy as and you ask the account man, he tell you is is the one who created what or the is the one who created what the heaven, the earth, the animals, the sea, whatever, whatever. You go into the Bible, the Christian will tell you God or Jehovah. What the, what, what, what did God do? God is the one who created the heavens, the earth, the sea, whatsoever, whatsoever. Go into Islam. What is the name of your supreme god? Allah. Allah. What, what, what makes Allah so uh, supreme? supreme? He, he created this, he created that. The same. So now my point is, if all of them are giving reference or their reason for giving that name, it's actually what the same reason. The attributes. The same uh, the, the, the attribution for giving that name is actually what the same reason underlying the name. Then what are you fighting for? I, I think another example is where you have the attribute of Jesus yes. being born by a Virgin Mary. Um, we, are, we find on 20, 20, 25th December. dying, resurrecting, ascending, and you have you find Mitra also have the same attributes. We find Dionysius also having the same attribute. We find Krishna in Hinduism also having the same attributes. Then, uh, what makes Jesus different from Krishna, different from Mitra, and all of that? And another example is the Lost Supper. Thank you. you I think it first found in Mitraism, yeah. where Mitra says that anybody who doesn't eat of his body and blood will never have salvation thousands of years before jesus was born and it is fine in christianity so so now what should be the new approach where we can understand that spirituality should be one if you are in thank you Napa, if you are in Cote d'Ivoire, ghana thank you hmm. we need to now look for principles okay. other than substances what do you mean by that? when i say principles i just give gave you a, the reason behind the names okay when you go point is actually what i can Allah is actually what? Arabic. Mm -hmm. Krishna is what? It's Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. Or? Mahu is Ever. Ever. Atana Numo is Ga. Ga. So now my question is, why the difference in the names? Common sense should tell you that it's just because of what? The language. language. Mm. So if I know God, if there's a soul in me, and the soul is given by God, if you say, I was, everybody was created by God, and I have a God in me, or I have an aspect of God in me, which is the soul, the one makes you so convinced that God through the soul can communicate with me. And if I have any idea or receive any idea of the universal omnipotent, which has no name, in which language do you expect me to impart that knowledge or that realization to my descendants? Wouldn't that be in my language? See, see, here, there are many example. See, here, we are kind of to them. If I can find an example, let me use the account for example. As we are here, per se, not due to civilization or not due to urbanization. We over here, we don't know any other language apart from Akan. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. All our life, we've we only known the Akan language. Mm -hmm. And then somebody, per se, from Nigeria, Yoruba Yor Yor land, mm -hmm. comes to us, not wearing our clothes, not eating our food, living a different lifestyle from us, his culture being different from us, even his language being different from us. And he now comes to tell you that I am going to teach you your culture, your history, your descendants, or your, 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 your ancestry. Mm. How would it be possible for you to actually what impart such knowledge 
would in, in the first place would the people even accept such a person as an authority no thank you so every form of spiritual knowledge should be impact would definitely be impacted through what the language of the people or the person who actually will realize it mm. so if anything is imparted through a knowledge or a language you known to the people at the point of where what the realization came then why should somebody call Allah and then you become offended because somebody said Allah he didn't say what God why should somebody say oh, you become you become offended because the person said you cannot but he didn't say Osiris then it's just ignorance you are actually what portraying ignorance of the highest order mm. because whatever you are trying to whatever you are claiming is actually a language and that language has an origin mm -hmm. and has a meaning has a meaning and, has and when you go beyond the meaning, you just realize that the meaning behind that name is what you also was have within your own what language, but with a different what name. Yep. So now, where do you limit? Why do we limit ourselves to just substances on the surface rather than principles underlying everything within nature? Now, because of time, take us through some of the principles where which can take us further from organized religion deeper Thank into you. spirituality. On and, and and first for for those who might be listening for the first time actually i have somebody who is listening to you for the first time hey, i want you to say something better about spirituality now we hear spirituality sometimes to some people when you say spirituality it is me being able to uh say or predict the underwear this lady is wearing is spirituality so what is spirituality before we go thank go you there. spirituality mm -hmm. let's break this word into two we have what spirit a, a, a spirituality right yeah so spirit plus reality okay just to just break it up for you so uh, if if i if i should try my english that is uh the manifestation of spirit or spiritual truths okay so in in other words this is how i put it spirituality is what is the individual's connection eh mentally individuals mental uh, mental physical spiritual emotional eh cultural language connection to what to the universe and the infinite so spirituality is just your individual connection to what to that which we call god or the universal many presence or whatever mm. so spirituality is about individual what connections so, so that's why sometimes when i hear people uh, speak, uh, uh, talk uh, or say african spirituality i just laugh what is African spirituality? We don't have African spirituality because spirituality is an individual affair. So the, how come African spirituality? Yeah, well, you see, you you mentioned name and attribute. It's may, African may, spiritual culture. Okay, maybe for better w want of words, you, you understand. That's why I coined the word. I coined the word new spirit Sophie. What 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 is that? Mm -hmm. Yes, noir black mm. spirit spiritual Sophie. Sophie means what knowledge? Knowledge, yeah. Your speech, Sophie. Mm, I, I, I wish I have uh, uh, a Damisa here. <laughs> yeah. We need to have our own identification. Mm. If you can't find identification, words are coined. Mm. People create words. No word came into being by like, itself. Like, like, like the name of my, my record label, Black Nificent Records. My brother, all the words <laughs> you are using in the world today were created. Yes. Everything was given meaning by, by humanity. Mm -hmm. And what is a word? What is just what? A cluster of what? A cluster of sounds being given what? A reason or a meaning. Yeah, so um, we get to know the meaning of spirituality now. Um, let's continue to see how we should now follow this thing that we call spirituality. That now it is rather gaining substance. Thank you. On the African continent. I think this is a topic we've already planned to do some some days ahead or mm -hmm. some time mm -hmm. to come. Mm -hmm. You see, our spirituality is rather taking a turn of hatred, which is one. Two, the spirituality we are preaching today. It's more of a spirituality of just take a book take a book and look for a similarity or difference and then we end over there my point is if somebody took something from you then that, that thing should be of what essence of or importance to that that person so now if it was of importance then what was in that thing which made it so necessary for that person to what to take from you and natural apply to his or her life mm. and after application what made it so possible for that person to achieve success with it so is it just because they took a story from Egypt and put it in the Bible, which you are concerned about, or the mystery behind that name? How to decode that principle, which was actually taken from Egypt? What principle is within it? Mm. That's what I'm concerned about. So if you really want to pursue spirituality, you guys realize that whatever you are condemning in the other person's religion is what you yourself is looking for. Mm. 
Yes. What you are condemning other person's religion or other person's spiritual path is what you yourself is actually searching for in your religion. Now, okay. So uh, before you came, we, we spoke. Uh, you spoke with Dr. Kanida Goose, who used to be a pastor's wife, and uh, has uh, now he's the free thinker. Let yeah. me say so. And she was recanting because of the topic, yeah. saying that can religion redeem it? damaging or dying image in Africa and she was recounting some of the deceit that for example Christianity came with and for that matter when people come to the realization of some of these deceits it, it will be difficult for the person to say that I'm helping to bring such a system back you, you understand now how do people like you who are spiritual scientists help um come out with a conversation around how people can get away with the because when, when you find out that somebody has lied to you it really hurts thank you you, you understand actually it, it made this lady ask her that she found some hurt in her voice and she said yes that was then she was hurt then but now she's only passionate to talk about it because she's now come to see that many of the things that it, it, they preached to her wasn't wasn't true uh, you, 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 you get it how do we uh, come out with a conversation that will help all of us to heal? Because if you go on social media, when, when some people are exposed to, let me say, the truth in quotes, Is the, it way, the whole truth or just a bit of it? Sometimes just a bit of it. You know, for example, when somebody hears Moshe's, Moshe preaching for one, two, the person becomes like a child who is exposed to hip hop. His, his, the way he walks, the way he talks changes right after that. Thank you. How do we go about this? Thank you. Do you know one thing? I always say not everybody can leave religion. Yes. No matter what you do, hmm. not everybody can leave what? Religion. religion. Do you know why? Because hmm. religion itself is also dynamic. Whenever any form of spirit, or scientific or discovery is made, hmm. religion will buy that idea to explain whatever is within itself. Hmm. Whatever any form of discovery is done, be it in science, be it in philosophy, religion buys that into itself. Hmm. So religion is, is in itself dynamic. So if we really want to have this thing done, we need to first awaken to our spiritual self. Yeah. And upon awakening to our spiritual self, the core, the push itself will push religion to actually restructure itself, to not give what they've actually what? They've continuously been what? Be hiding from what? From the people. Hmm. I think uh, somebody sent me a message that the Lord's Prayer has been changed by the, the, the Pope. Yes. Why are they doing it now? Because people are start questioning. Now, even when you take like, some of the Catholic Bibles, mm -hmm. now the book, uh, the book of Genesis, they no more name it the first book of Moses. Mm. Why? Because some people have been able to debate it to understand that they now realize that even the book of Genesis wasn't written by what? By Moses, Moses himself. Moses, yeah. Numbers wasn't written by uh, Leviticus, wasn't written by him. Yeah. So they're not changing all those words, all those um, uh, um, uh, narratives. Uh, narratives. So it is us who can push because these people have known this thing so many years, so, so millennia ago, but they've just been quiet about it. So the point is, once you're working to yourself, you can push them so that the secret they've been hiding. That's why nobody will be willing to leave because before you realize, somebody is indebted to religion so much. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody his ancestor never had anything true religion. They now have something to spend. Mm -hmm. So they are whole, they are indebted to religion. Of to come to that's, that religion. That's the only hope for that for such a person. They can because they moving out will feel like they are what they are actually they are actually betraying whatever made them who they are today. So no matter what, such people will be there. A second example is you you go home and you tell mom, mom, this religion just thing doesn't make sense. I don't want to go to church anymore, and you are poor. They will never accept. But if you come in a Range Rover and say that I want to leave religion, like, okay. We go to church so that God will bless us. You have Range Rover, so what's your problem? Do, do you get it? Yeah. So now the call is we awakening and making the awakening reflect within the religions themselves. No matter what, religion can live. People think religion will be over. Sometimes you just look at them and laugh. Because religion also finding their own strategy to find their feet. Well, because, because my little research that I've done is that religion actually doesn't come out with a new way of going forward. They buy from people. They they, they look they, they take it from the secular world. Yes. From the beginning religion will say that don't look into, don't look into a woman's face. If you look into a woman's face, you've committed adultery or whatever then over 200 years the religion come back to say okay it's, it's okay you understand it's always adapts and adapts they always adapt yeah so now 
what will be the benefit when we are in Africa and this is good one in Africa, so let me use Africans. When Africans, when Africans embrace uh, 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 spirituality fully, when Africans embrace spirituality fully, even religion itself become more of a spiritual encounter and experience, more than just what an organizational what inclusion. Mm. Yes, because you know one thing in the Quran itself, Quran. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of rituals in the Quran. That one, when you get to know, it can actually help you to actually sustain you, help you in so many ways. Mm. The Bible itself has so many spiritual codes in there. Should you get to know, it can help you to solve so many, so much of your problems. Mm. The Gita. Now you don't the, need a pastor. Or you wouldn't need a pastor prophet. to come in. So the point is, how do you, even with the Bible, we, we, even the commonest of them is what? Um, the, the, the secret of Psalms. Mm. Yes. Secret of Psalms. Yes. He just give us some hints about it. It's some signs. Secret of Psalms is just uh, the, the Psalms being used for for, for, for for spiritual purposes. Like? Yeah, for uh, for, for calling for business. Psalm 5 like this is actually a, a calling for markets. Psalm 5? Psalm 5. Just get rose oil, just get olive oil. Mix them up together. Read Psalm 5 three times, three days, three nights over eight. Just that. Mention, use, use the name Kananga, which is another one of the uh, attributes of God. Use that name Kananga over the over over it. Afterwards, when you're you are going to work, just smear it on your face and your hands. That's all. You call for markets. When you when you fear that any negative energy is actually opposing your business, just get um, a, a, a a locally laid egg. Just get a, a, a three peso piece, a five peso pieces onto it. Use these same prayers onto it. Go to a cemetery at night. Throw it backwards. Don't look back and go home. You've now overcome such negative energy. All this is in the Bible. <laughs> but this is where we were all pushed to be frightened, to be afraid of, and ah, anyway, anyway. So if you really want these things to come out, mm-hmm. we're pushing them. They will now start what opening up. Mm. We are waking into. So that's what I'm telling you. Religion was based. Religion was started as a result. Religion was based upon upon well, directing people towards what towards their spiritual what, self. But along the line, you know, we all have Averted. we all have human tendencies. When people realize that, hey. With this thing, I can make money and make a living out of. Now they become what they become selfish. When I keep the people ignorant. So along the line, the evilness actually actually, actually was started what creeping in. Hmm. So the whole point is, religion wasn't started to what to actually what, quen up people into one corner. Hmm. The purpose of religion was for a spiritual what purpose, a spiritual awakening. Hmm. But along the line, greedy people coming in, took the whole what the whole path towards what a different what channel. Hmm. Do you get it? Yep. So religion itself, I always when when people are, crit- people are criticizing religion, yes, I'm I myself I'm a critic of religion, mm. but I always leave the truth of religion outside. When I when I talk of the negative aspect, I also what appreciate what the positive aspects, mm. because when you appreciate the positive and apply and uh, apply the positive to your life, it can be also what you can also be able to what make what make a pro- make, make progress in your own life and affairs, mm. which needs to be known and understood. Yeah. So you see, you see, the, the situation has been like. A, a, a lady who trusted the, the wife that much or a man who trusted uh, a lady who trusted the husband that much or a husband who trusted the wife so much and then one day realized that this woman has been sleeping all around with other guys or this man y- you understand when that happens in the heat of the moment it's difficult for either the man or the woman to I, think rationally I, I, I understand how it feels yeah I know how it feels so the point is I, I rather prefer that we now start projecting the mystical aspect within these religions hmm. more than just the literal aspect which is used in what which is used in actually what dictating and what and domineering over people domineering over people hmm. i think next week we'll come back here and uh, talk about how to use some of this um uh, mystic and uh, spiritual side of it let me read some of the comments here then i'll come to you to wrap up um if there's anything that you want to say there okay reagan uh, uh, anando says that uh it's not bad for women to have okay he's commenting on the dreadlock thing uh musa jordan said that hello good morning how are you all doing i uh, love you bro okay thank you uh jamfi jamfia for you says ha 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 and he says that this guy is so good and uh Rena Ando comes up come back again with the teases there's not a comment it's a teases <laughs> <laughs> says that we cannot go back to our forefathers gods and worship them at this time we are in 21st century uh, because all these gods are small gods it's only the god of israel is the god of supreme god and oh, he seriously? is the only <laughs> only one we can worship why 
am I saying that because all the gods in the world whose uh, those not have any records but the god of israel have great records and that is why we worship him hey, and him that. and i think that is the best way okay i'll let you respond let me finish quickly with the other ah. uh araba araba stamp hey, i love this name araba stamp say ha bro love i uh, love to watch uh love to watch uh a Bro, for no doors on Dodo. Okay, today is uh, good morning, Africa. So expect that. Reagan Anna says that, and it's only religion that can make Africa united. Hmm. So I'll leave it here. Respond to that one, and let's let's close. Uh, I'll say it's quite unfortunate. Hmm. It's quite unfortunate when you actually misplace a means for an end. It's very unfortunate. Hmm. Thinking the God of Israel is what everybody should actually what. Hmm pass through mm-hmm. but the point is you, you first let me actually clear this fact mm-hmm. or this, this very notion that mm-hmm. none of the gods of the world had scriptures what is a scripture scripture comes from the word script to write so before anything was written wasn't it first within the mind of people before being written mm-hmm. upon paper and that's that's the, the safest place to store some things so my point is if there's a book then where, where was the mind which first existed before what translating whatever was within the mind into the book into the book mm-hmm. was it not within the minds of people exactly so as you have you actually inquired about all these other religions all these other was spiritual places all these other spiritual paths and what they possess you haven't so stop making that assertion they all have their own their accounts and even if we had to go by age yeah the the, the bible is just about six thousand years old who even said that well, the Bible says thousand years old. When you when you look at the account, ah, compared, my brother, the Bible. The, the New Testament is two thousand years old now, uh-huh. and the Old Testament is how many years uh, old? I think for about four thousand. Really? Do you think so? <laughs> I'm just doing my my. Ah ah ah! Who said simple, that? Simple uh, calculations. The Bible. Mm-hmm. The Bible is barely three thousand five hundred years old. Both the New and the Old. Because they, even the Old one were first were translated from from lip to ear, before being written. Wow. Anyway, Lord, we will leave it here. So, uh, summarize, and if there's any announcement that you want to make, then uh, we'll call it a day. So, with all due respect, um, religion is a very broad topic which needs to be delved into by all humanity. When we understand ourselves, I always say the best religion in this universe is the what? The religion of what? Of love. The religion of the soul. Mm. The religion of self. Once you realize that I have a soul, you have a soul, he, he has a soul, you have a soul, automatically you realize that we are all what? One. one. And once that one, and once we get to that state of what? Oneness. One. Peace will prevail because you realize that if my soul is connected to yours, then whatever I do will affect you. Yes, per se, let's cite a practical example. Mm. Pouring what? Your rubbish into a gutter. Yeah. Forgetting that downstream. A fellow human being like yours has a house over there. So doing that, you are blocking the channel to touch a person's house. Mm-hmm. And when it floods, are you not affecting the life of the person at the other end? Yeah. This is just common sense. You don't even need religion to teach you this. Mm. So once we go into the or into the aspect of love, recognizing each and everyone as what as an aspect of ourself, the religion of the soul, everything becomes inclusive, and we don't separate religion from our social life, from our financial existence, from our mental self. From our physical existence, from anything around us, because everything around us what becomes what inclusive into one of what of a soul having an experience of what on earth, and when the time is up, you exit through death. Yep. And the journey continues. And the journey continues. <laughs> so the point is, let's begin to realize this soul or this what this religion of self, which is what the religion of love. Mm. That's the only thing we can do, and that's the best religion. Mm. Every form of religion was started by what by someone. My brother, I didn't know why, why is it why is it that when someone is body, born into what into an, a, 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 a Muslim family, that person goes to be a Muslim. Mm-hmm. The probability it's, that person is programming. When a person is born into Christianity, the probability that person will grow into what to become a Christian is high. So now ask yourself, why is it that those born into Islam are Muslims? Those born into Christianity are Christians. Those born into um, traditional Hindu. uh, Hinduism are Hindus. Ask yourself, why is it happening that way? So who taught you that? Who made you into that? 
when you start beginning to ask this question you get to realize that whatever you are assigning yourself into based upon that demonizing killing destroying a fellow human being is actually something which you were programmed what from birth now alleviate, alleviate what from self, yourself from what from that you begin to see everything from what from a far deeper view of you being what an aspect of god your brother being an aspect of god irrespective of what society have made them into hmm. lord we'll, we'll continue next week and i hope next week get here early so that we can uh, cover more so um um is there any announcement that um you want oh to yeah say? yeah by the master's grace and by the grace of the universal energies and forces and then the universal mini presence We'll be starting our class this very weekend. Oh, okay. If the universe permits. So this very weekend, we'll be starting our session. That's a school of spiritual and esoteric sciences. Emmanuel School of Enlightenment. We're starting our session, which is a 13-week course on the basic on the basic course of the school, mm-hmm. which will equip you with most of this knowledge and also practical aspects for your eventual what, mastery and evolution of yourself. So late registration is ongoing. I didn't open it up by per request. Late registration is actually what's ongoing. Right. Also, if you, want, if you actually want to come for consultation or actually inquire about anything, that is with the spiritual science uh, consultancy. You can actually call this number 0241 8538. You'll be, you'll be able to, uh, to reach me also if you want to join the movement the spiritual scientists over here we do critical thinking concerning everything from science to uh, uh, philosophy to normal way of life to spirituality to religion we prove everything to actually what come to a conclusion that this thing can actually what verify itself at every time place and what a circumstance this is what we are doing we need to take away the trash Africans, yeah, dream, you know, if you know, so do do. Yeah, we here, we are going to go. Yeah, we are here to go. But if you want to join the movement, the spiritual scientists, also the same numbers, zero two four one eight five three five three eight. It it is also what WhatsApp activated. Mm. If you also want to come for any numerical reading concerning your business, your life, compatibility, and also certain life path, and also certain things you need to do that you need not to do, certain vibrations and other stuff, you can also call the same number zero two four one eight five three five three eight. If you really want to have what I have and what I know, just let me know enroll in the school and then you have your way through also you can actually go and like my page and follow me on youtube lord akam yeah. and also my page um my page is um my facebook page lord akam rebakam and also the spiritual uh, spiritual science society and also you can join the group you can search for the group the spiritual scientists okay. on, and facebook. on facebook and then you join and also the truth seekers all these groups are there for us to join and share from african spirituality to hinduism to buddhism to Sikhism. Um, all the zinzims, <laughs> my brother. All the zinzim, you can come here. We we'll take you deeper over here. We don't leave anything out. Thank you very much, Lord Akam. Though he, he came late, but I think we've covered a 